here We gon' live, we gon' fight Off the cliff, take a dive Swing and miss, feel alive Get back up, we gon' thrive Never stop, living life Take it off, take a dip at night Pretty girls, pretty sights So, welcome everybody to Der Swiss Moto And welcome to beautiful Luzerne so today we are gonna do something very different and very special we are gonna test out the motorcycle so i have the keys right here provided to me by my friends at Odermatt Motors Luzern which is my local dealer for Honda and KTM look at that view that's fantastic and right down there you can already see what we are gonna be riding <laughs> it's an amazing 2022 honda monkey look at that and i know what you're thinking we want to see a fire blade because we only see big numbers and to that i say shut up you don't know anything about motorcycles this is awesome <laughs> uh, so this is, by the way, something of my own choosing. I really wanted to test this bike out. Don't worry, all the other Hondas will be on the channel as well. Uh, but this little thing was something I really like. It was a personal wish of mine, <laughs> let's say it like that. It was something that I really, really, really wanted to test out. So yeah, let's go out and see how it feels. And I can tell you right now, because I've been out for quite a bit now, uh, riding about up and down the, the city. Look at that little castle up there, so pretty. This uh, bike is just it's so fun. It's absolutely like, that. that's the word for it, it's fun. There is no other word for it besides that, because you have a smile on your face the entire time the thing is so tiny you just throw it into like corners and in between traffic and you're just like you're fast like the bike might not be the fastest thing in the world but you are fast on this bike because you get everywhere fast <laughs> uh, just to tell you some amazing numbers and hold on to your seats this thing has 9.6 horsepower yes you heard me well 9.6 they could have gone the full 10 but then they thought nah it's too much power like no man should ever have that much power <laughs> so they left it at 9.6 and uh, it has 11 11 torques I'm gonna say it like that because it's silly oh yeah 11 in the double digits so you're gonna be making burnouts from here to monaco when you give it the beans or probably not <laughs> it's it's an amazing machine Let, let's remember one thing it's a little 125 engine so the power it has for the weight it has which uh, don't ask me how much it weighs because i don't know uh, but it's very very light like I, I picked it up earlier so that's how light it is so yeah the the power it has for the weight it has it's just like it's amazing you can like for let's let's be honest for the city and if you're commuting to work like you don't live that far away from your work and you go through the city and it's all like 50s and stuff do you really need 200 horsepower not to 60 in like two seconds no you don't you really don't you need something that goes from red light to red light like i'm doing right now quick and it's easy to drive and it doesn't take that much like know-how to move it around like the thing you have to remember on this one uh, it was probably the thing that make made me a bit more weary like the and i'm not gonna say it's a negative about the bike because it is a thing that you have to you get used to with time it's the small wheels like it has very small wheels very small tires and that's a bit like the bike is very nimble like if you go in to something like if you corner hard she goes like if you go full left she goes full left and then some like it's uh, it's not as um 
it's it takes some use to it, is what I'm trying to say. The the little tires. Everything else, it's just like any other motorcycle. The seat, oh my god, like oh my god. <laughs> I not even my tiger which is supposed to be like something that you can munch a million miles and not have any pains in your ass is as comfortable as, as this one it's just like oh the seat is properly like I think they just went to every grandma's house in Japan and cut out a bit of the sofa you know the sofas I'm talking about the like fluffy comfortable ones where you just disappear into it's exactly that like the seat is fantastic and I did have a scooter before a PCX also from Honda uh, that I had for like I don't know four years or so and scooters you see like the seat and it's gigantic etc and you think oh that must be comfortable it is but compared to this one oh my god no this 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 seat is just perfection and then the handlebars are positioned perfectly my feet both of them are planted on the floor which is amazing which is something that doesn't happen a lot <laughs> because hashtag short legs and yeah I just I am 1 meter 74 and I fit this bike like like a glove so yeah if you're taller then yeah I can see like if you're like two two meters high like then yes maybe <laughs> you're a bit too tall for a monk I don't know you should try it out maybe like your knees are up here but yeah it's it's such a pleasure to drive I'm not even kidding I know you're probably thinking oh, he's just kissing ass or whatever no I'm not uh, but I'm really struggling to find the negative I mean uh, as I said the wheels being small is a bit of a thing that you have to get used to but that's not necessarily a negative that's just the thing you have to get used to and uh, it's a one-seater so if you are a antisocial like me it's perfect but if you have one friend then uh, could be something that <laughs> that would make you maybe get a dax or a groom from honda so yeah but besides that like the bike looks on point like you we cannot even start discussing that this bike doesn't look on point and i know that there is going to be someone in the comments or just thinking to himself oh but the, the ducati panigale looks way better uh, first of all shut up <laughs> like we are not talking about those bikes we are talking about this particular bike and this particular style and for this particular bike and this particular style this just looks perfect I it's it's it really does like there is the perfect mix between modern and just staying retro as hell like the only thing that can catch you like thinking oh okay it's a modern bike it's the LCD screen here which is actually very good I've been in all sorts of lighting and I was able to see it always perfectly and the the front light that's it that's the only two things that could uh, lead you to think oh wait a second that might be a modern bike everything else it's like nope <laughs> you cannot tell that this is like not the it's just ah it's amazing so yeah so we are now driving through the center of Lucerne look at that the wooden bridge the famous wooden bridge and on this side we have the lake and the mountains which is always one of those amazing beautiful views no matter how many times I drive past here no matter how many times I saw this view already it's just like you always stand, de stand there and just look at it the entire time because it's just that fantastic so putting my blinker on getting in front of a gigantic boss bus in a little bike look at this Lucerne is really one of the prettiest of big cities here in Lucerne 
yes we can discuss like oh but there are some places that are more idyllic blah blah yes there are like little villages in the middle of the Alps that are amazing but I'm talking like about big cities like and what big cities are concerned Luzern is really like absolutely amazing so yeah as I was saying negatives about it I'm struggling to find something to be honest for what it is it's on point like I could start like trying to be a bit of an ass and be like yeah the off-road capabilities are maybe not there etc it's not made for that or yeah, it's it's a bit like much if you go on the the de restricted autobahn you don't get up to 200 it's not made for that for this however like scooting around town just going from A to B and having a freaking smile on your face everywhere you go then it's absolutely perfection and I mean there are many many bikes in this segment that you can buy 125s that can give you some kind of a feeling of um, not some kind of a feeling but there are plenty of these bikes that just take you from A to B without an issue like but there are not many that give you the the soul let's say it like that there are not many bikes that give you like the soul that this bike gives you it has like it has a soul it it has way fucking idiot jesus christ yeah, as i was saying when I was about to lose my soul <laughs> uh, this bike does have like a soul it has it's not just a means of transportation it's just not a hunk of metal it's just it's perfection it's just it's everything you need for going from A to B in the city having fun have a laugh on the weekends you just want to go for a quick cruise into the city have a coffee with your friends whatever you take the monkey everybody's gonna love it everybody's gonna want to ride it I'm pretty sure there there are gonna be people coming into the motorcycle world after trying this one for the first time and seeing like oh my god like riding on two wheels is amazing I want that in my life so yeah that's that's my thoughts about this bike who would I so who would I say is the customer of a monkey? Hmm, that's a more difficult one because you can always, you can pretty much uh, give a reason for pretty much everyone to pretty much have any bike. But I would say primarily, hmm, if you're someone that's looking for a second bike just to go to work or just to have a, cute, a quick commute instead of taking your big like African Twin or GS or whatever you have you can just take your little monkey and get on with it I would say this bike is perfect uh, if you're a younger person starting out and you have your 125 license and you want something to have a lot of fun with that is very like different and out there and like the monkey is perfect as well so yeah I think it's just it does take a lot of boxes if you want to do like adventure biking or go for long rides into the Alps and maybe not I would say but for everything else around the city in the city just having your fun going just for a quick cruise or going to work the monkey is always going to be a very very good option for you so yeah if you're interested in this particular one uh, you can check out my my boys at Odermatt Motors Luzern I'll put the links down below and there is probably also a banner somewhere on the video so yeah check them out they have a lot of these in stock and uh, also the DAX and I don't know if they had the groom to be honest I don't remember seeing those but and everything else like from your fire blades to your trans alps to your African twins everything you everything your heart desires they have so 
just go on the website and just check them out they are very good people and also if you already have a bike and you don't need one and you just need a good mechanic that is not gonna rip you out or off uh, then yeah they are also your your boys because I've been a customer of them for longer than I have been on YouTube or whatever other social media and they have never failed me whatsoever so I can only say good things so now I'm gonna park it up here let you have a nice last look at it and just walk down here just to give you a nice view to end the video I hope you liked it uh, it was my first kind of review video of a motorcycle so as I said about all the other videos that I've been making um, it's only gonna get better so bear with me please and yeah I hope you liked the view I hope you liked the video don't forget to check out the other Mount Motos Lucern website if you're interested in some Hondas or KTMs or other motorcycles because they also have a very good stock on um, used motorcycles there so check them out and yeah with that said I'm gonna say goodbye and don't forget buckle up buttercup because it's gonna be a wild ride <laughs>